Oh, hey there. Have we started the video yet? What's up, everybody? We're going to talk about Deadpool again. I know the last video wasn't that good. But that was like a year ago. Surely I can make a better video by Deadpool. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Oh! Yo! Welcome back to your everyday nerd. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. And today's backlight to b-sides do another b-sides i know that uh the last last deadpool video wasn't good so i figured i'd make a video about deadpool 2 and hopefully make it better but i have a feeling it's gonna be a bad video too but by saying it's bad in the video it makes it funnier right no zach it doesn't make it funnier look man i just want to talk about a movie that i really like is that too hard to ask yes zach yes it is these castles are good. Hey, yeah, I wanna shoot, baby. Almost a year ago, Your Everyday Nerd started, and one of the first things that I did an episode about was Deadpool. I watched it in theaters a few times, and I loved it. It's comedy, it's action, and even its rom-com-like story was something that was super appealing to me. So when we got the news that Deadpool 2 was gonna come out, I was excited. I was also very nervous. I mean, I liked the first Deadpool movie so much that I considered it one of my favorite films of all time. I wish I was over exaggerating here because I've definitely seen a lot better films at this point, but I still like this first movie. So when Deadpool 2 came out in theaters, I had super high expectations and I wasn't quite sure if Fox were going to be able to fill my holes. My, my expectations. What? If you don't know anything about it, Deadpool and Deadpool 2 are both superhero movies that came out in 2017 and 2018 respectively. They are both movies that I really liked and not a whole lot of people talk about them much because they're rated R and uh, you know it's a bit vulgar, you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm not making this video because I planned on making a video about The Link's Awakening remake and yet I don't have the money to buy The Link's Awakening remake. So I figured instead, I would just make the whole review while playing Link's Awakening on the Game Boy. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. By the way, there will be spoilers for both Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2. In the first Deadpool movie, Wade has a battle with cancer. He goes to a secret human facility where they cure his cancer, only to transform him from mercenary to man that looks like a damaged orange. Oh, and he can regenerate parts of his body, causing him not to die. The entire plot of the first movie revolves around him killing the man who made him superhuman and the love story between him and his fiance Vanessa. In episode 4 of the show, I talked about how Deadpool 1 was like a rom-com. I also argued why it probably isn't a rom-com, but I now look back on that video and think it's incredibly stupid and way too long, and I, I agree with my first point, it's a rom-com. Two people, they love each other, a lot of the plot focuses around their, them loving each other, even though it's a funny man in a red suit killing people. It's epic. Go watch it if you haven't seen it already. But Deadpool 2 came out and it changed the script a little bit. Wade and Vanessa are planning on starting a family only for her to die within the first 10 minutes. I was shook. Wade was shooken with grief. And so he tries to kill himself. He kind of makes it happen. But not really. He ends up meeting an orphan who has superhuman powers and he has to help this orphan kind of grow into an adult and not kill people out of rage because in the future, a man named Cable ends up getting his family destroyed by that very orphan. Cable comes back from the future into the present, tries to kill that orphan, and we have time travel shenanigans. We have a kid who ends up getting in jail. We have Wade trying to be a better person as he is still upset about Vanessa and all this to say that Deadpool 2 is a family film. Now obviously there's a lot of cursing, there's a lot of violence, a lot of blood and gore and a lot of people die but yet even in the script, even in the movie, we hear Wade tell the audience that this is a family film. So while in my last episode about Deadpool, I tried to argue why Deadpool 1 was a rom-com, I'm not going to argue why Deadpool 2 is a family film because it is. So instead, I just wanted to tell you guys why I like these films so much. I think what Deadpool does really well compared to other superhero movies, and we've had 1,200 superhero movies in the last 10 years, 
I think what Deadpool does really well is that it fully adapts its comics into movies that are funny and entertaining. No, I know some people don't like the Deadpool character. I know some people aren't gonna like these films because of the humor and the vulgarity of them. But overall, I think if you like the comics, you're gonna like these movies. But what Deadpool does right, it definitely has a problem. And that's the fact that it's rated R. It is the most popular rated R movie now, but even then there's so many people that haven't seen it because of its rating. And so as a fan of these movies, it's a little bit upsetting that not as many people are talking about them as they are the MCU or even the, the dreaded DCEU. Like, I don't understand why there's so many people that talk good about Batman v Superman or Suicide Squad and so few people that are talking good about the Deadpool movies. I mean, I like the MCU movies too, but some of them are so boring. They made me want to drink this bottle of NyQuil and just go night night. Oh, I forgot I could jump in this game. Yo, I got pretty far last time I was playing this. This is epic. Like I said, I was very nervous about Deadpool 2. I thought that it couldn't be better than the first one. Turns out I was wrong. <laughs> it ended up being a lot better than the first one. Not only is the humor overall more funny, I think there are definitely moments in Deadpool 1 where you can be like, you're saying the same joke 12 times in the same scene. LOL, funny man says bad word. That's kind of funny. Like there's a lot of that, but I think Deadpool 2 makes things a little bit more clever. One problem that a lot of superhero movies have is its side characters. And Deadpool 2 does a really good job at making its side characters worth watching. I love the use of the X-Force and I love the fact that we've got this weird group of superheroes that just end up dying only for Domino to survive. The one whose superpower is being lucky, which is joked about quite a number of times and it's a little overused, but honestly, I'd say the payout is good. Every single scene with Domino in this movie is fun to watch, especially the one where we've got trucks exploding behind her and it's super cinematic and that's such a really cool moment in this film. That's also where Deadpool 2 really shines and that's its action. Deadpool 1 had a good bit of action scenes and I did like how they did those, especially the one where he only has 12 bullets and he has to figure out how he's gonna get around everybody with only those 12 bullets. It's definitely a little bit clever. It's got a good premise. The editing is really good, but Deadpool 2 turns up things a notch by having a lot of really well choreographed fight scenes. I love the big CGI battle at the end with Juggernaut and Colossus. I'm usually not a big fan of CGI fight scenes, but the build up to Juggernaut being revealed, the music, the music whose lyrics is, holy shit boss, oh holy shit boss. It's so funny. It's just, it's just genuinely funny and unironically epic. But again, the main reason you're gonna watch these movies is because of the humor. There's so many good jokes within both of them, but I think Deadpool 2, turns up the notch on the humor as well. Probably the most uncomfortable scene that's a little bit funny at first and then they do it a little bit too long is the scene where Deadpool has baby legs. And like, I get that some people's not gonna like this, but it is kind of funny and it, it does remind me. I've been asked a lot in these videos, Zach, why do you only have the upper body of you showing? What, what happened to your legs? Well, I'm sorry to say that I too am yet a man with baby legs. But I think my favorite part about Deadpool 2 is the prospect of what they could do with this character in the future. At the end of the movie, after the credits, we see that Deadpool gets the same device that Cable used to go from the future into the present. And <laughs> Deadpool goes back into the past and he fixes the wrongs that needed to be done, including saving his girlfriend Vanessa from dying, saving Peter earlier in the movie from dying as well. And then the, the best part is when he kills himself before he gets the script for Green Lantern. But those jokes aside, I do think that they've done everything they can with Deadpool himself. I think if we had a Deadpool 3 and if it was just him, it could get a little bit stale. Too many of the same jokes, too many of the same fourth wall breaks. But by introducing X-Force, by introducing Cable and time travel, we have so many opportunities to fit Deadpool into the Marvel Cinematic Universe now that it could really be a special character just like he is in the comics. I don't know if I need another Deadpool movie. I would love one because I like these first two films, but I think it would be so much cooler if Disney 
takes the Deadpool character and just starts fitting him in in really weird and wacky places within the next films. With all this being said, I just wanted to say that yes, I recommend both Deadpool movies. I think you should definitely watch them. I think now, the more I think about it, I think Deadpool 2 is better than the first one, but I still love that first one so much. So if you haven't seen them, definitely go check them out. Do 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 do. Do do. Do 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 do. Do do. Do 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 do. I died. <laughs> well, I guess I'm a sellout now. Have you heard about my Patreon? You haven't? You should check out the Patreon then. Go to patreon.com slash Zack Snyder Productions and you can help support the show. For only $1 a month, you can join the patron only Discord channel where we talk about some stuff occasionally. We need, we need more people there to really have full on discussions there. But if you don't want to join the Patreon, definitely join the Discord in general. You can also get access to the newsletter every single week where I talk about all the content that I'm doing on all the different places on the internet. But if you join that $3 tier, you can get a full episode of Let's Talk About It on my personal channel. Let's Talk About It is where I talk about things that you suggest. I've talked about a bunch of different funny and interesting topics, so definitely check that out if you're interested. And finally, let's say you want me to talk about a movie on here, a TV show, a video game, whatever it may be. If you join the $7 tier, you get to suggest a topic for your everyday nerd. Whatever you want me to talk about, We'll do a full length episode with humor and review bits and everything for you. So go check out the Patreon if you're interested and by doing that, you'll be supporting your everyday nerd. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go hit that like button. If for a reason you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts on both Deadpool movies? Hopefully this was a lot better than that first Deadpool video. Wow. <laughs> I'm really trying my best for future videos to make sure the topic is something that I really fully want to talk about. Obviously, I don't think this one had nearly as many comedic bits as it could have, but I just wanted to talk about the Deadpool 2 movie because I haven't done it yet. And I hope it was worth watching for you. Go ahead and subscribe for more Your Everyday Nerd episodes, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>